Agnieszka that she must be always with me because she's always with me on my classes almost always so this is really cool and I love when she's with me when I teach okay so uh, what we will need more are glimmer mists in vintage pink and wet fields color and uh, a Dyron deck color wash wild plum very beautiful and uh, I don't I forgot the word I want to say a uh, strong color now this is not the right word but you know what I mean Re very very beautiful and glimmer glaze flirty I know I wrote we will use Glimmer Glam, but I just made a mistake. It will be Glimmer Glaze Flirty. Uh, okay, so this that is all, I think. We will also need some water, some brushes, but that is, I think it's obvious. And glue. Glue also will be very needed. I think that, um, I hope mine will work good. Okay, so I think we can start. Everything is clear for you. Everything is okay. Can we start? Uh, paper princes, they are matte, not shimmery. And that's, that is uh, pretty cool, I think. They are different they, uh, than Glimmer Mist. I think they are matte. Okay, now I don't know. No, they are matte, yes absolutely mad okay let's go uh, so this is our canvas uh, our place where we go into work our base uh, firstly we, we need to create collage composition which is the, the most uh, the easiest part of the project just cut some pieces from the from this paper and use them to make your composition. I think this project is really, really easy uh, to do. So you can try this and you will see how fun and, uh, and as I said, easy it is to make it. That is what I love in uh, Prima stuff really because everything looks so great together and you don't have to spend your whole day on thinking what to use with what only small pieces we don't need much of paper as we will make some background with um, with cotton tape This and maybe some pieces of this. Czy dziewczyny jakieś z Polski tutaj są oprócz Agnieszki i Kasi Wyszogrodzkiej? Powiedzcie, że tak, bo bardzo chcę Was zobaczyć. Jeżeli jesteście i nie piszecie nic na czacie, to proszę napiszcie. Cześć Eliza. Napiszcie, zalogujcie się, możecie się chyba zalogować razem z Facebookiem i napiszcie cokolwiek do mnie, proszę. I said to my friends in uh, Poland that if they are here, please let me know, write to me something, because I really want to see you are here. Now it's time for uh, these papers from Rondell collection. We'll use these. And this one. <coughs> Great, you are here. Hello, hello. Uh, okay. Now this is a uh, important part. <laughs> mm. 
you need to do something like this. When it will be too dark, please let me know and I will uh, turn my lights on. What are you talking about? Boring English? You don't have an accent? <laughs> I can't understand you. I really like uh, this language. Come on, my sweet glue. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's sweet, but maybe some of you know. <laughs> you really don't have to think uh, how to this. Uh, composition will look like as we will use many medias medias I don't know what is the right spelling but we will use many different paints so they won't be as visible as you think now but they will be a little bit so you will see beautiful designs here Uh, yes, Eliska, I will cover this beautiful papers, best, but as you can see, they will be still visible a little, right? So this is cool, I think. <laughs> uh, Pavla, uh, you feel uncomfortable when gluing things upside down so you should try this because this is the best way to feel the freedom of creating really I think I think that Did I show you my scissors? This is my dog's job. But I still love her. And these scissors, of course. Uh, I think this canvas is primed, if I understand this word. If it's not, you should use gesso to do this and it will also look really good. Do we need more papers? Yes, I think we need. Just like flowers, always need more. <laughs> Agnieszka, teraz nie będzie żadnych ciekawych momentów, więc bierz wszystko i, i, i przychodzi klej, tak jak mówisz. Zresztą to w ogóle nie będzie ciekawych momentów. Pierwszy ciekawy moment już był, jedyny moja twarz. Reszta to już. My friend Agnieszka don't know if she should start working now or watching the show. I told her there won't be anything interesting right now. <laughs> so she should uh, start working. Get her stuff and start working right now. Okay, there will be something interesting, I think. Please stay with me, please. Don't go. <laughs> mm. This is my dog. Sorry, I don't want to wake her. 
because she won't be very kind for me if she will wake up. So sorry about that. You you don't like it? You want me to wake up her? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, I, I didn't think about it. I even didn't think about it. So, okay, I think this is cool if it's about papers. Now we need um, some cutting tape. I will use this. No, Carrie, this is not a German Shepherd. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but um, this is uh, Eliska, pomóż mi. Jakie skunder? <laughs> I think maybe Eliza will help me. Oh, now you can see mongrel. I'm not sure if I spell it right, but mongrel. Uh, no, not shit at all. <laughs> okay, uh, I should uh, focus on here. So what I'm doing now is uh, covering the canvas with some cotton tapes, some pieces of cotton tapes. Uh, Carrie, she still looks the same, so <laughs> you can say she's still a puppy. Uh, maybe some more tape here. Mongrel. I told you that's mongrel. <laughs> and here and there, and that will be all we need. <laughs> this is not my boyfriend, this is a dog. <laughs> my boyfriend is sitting right next to me and he's thinking what to do with the dog. Okay, we need some um, gesso right now. Oh my god. Give me a moment, I need to do something with her. As I said, gesso, gesso, gesso. Sounds better. And brush and I'm adding it on the whole canvas. And it will look really cool, but remember it must be very not too much, right? Not too much. Only a little bit. I love it more, and I love this gesso. Uh, 
Ariska, you can see still uh, the papers, girl. You can see still. You can still see them. If there's too much gesso, use your uh, wet wipe, right? And now it's really good. I will need to dry it a little so we will work faster. Yes, it is silicone brush, very cool. I love to use it and I use it very often um, for techniques like this one I showed you uh, here. Okay, I think it's okay now. Oh, this is my dress. Beautiful, right? <laughs> I really like it. I wear it almost every day. <laughs> hmm. Now the stencil from Sunrise Sunset Collection and uh, Gel Medium. And silicone brush once again or maybe uh, this I forgot how to call it what is this I used craft I use craft sheets so it works really cool Palette knife, right? That's true. This is not modeling paste, uh, this is gel medium. It is clear after drying. Don't use it everywhere, but only in some, you know. Here and there, right? Um, okay, I will take off a little bit as it is too much for me. Right here. Is the light okay? Or do you want me to turn the light on? We had a very sunny day today in Warsaw. So it is still beautiful. It's evening, but still very beautiful. Dark, okay. Ooh, no, not, not better. Oh, is it better or not? I will... No better? What do you think?
Okay. Uh, what I was doing. What I can do now is the lace. I will glue some pieces here and there. Smaller and bigger, we don't need much, but we need it, absolutely need it, because it is beautiful. I use gel medium as a glue. It works really cool. That's okay, I think. Can you see it? Oh, the light is not so good. It was better when uh, I shouldn't turn it on. Okay. Uh, now we can prepare our uh, chipboard. Chipboard piece, as I told you, I will use this one. And we need also foam tape, just small piece. Just a normal foam tape. I don't know the types of foam tapes. Just a normal. We need only a few pieces. And it will be right here. Yeah. Uh, when while it's drying, I will prepare our big flower because I have to work on it a little bit. It looks great. <laughs> I will do something with it. I will add glue or gel medium. It also works fine, but it dries a little bit longer, so I prefer glue as for now. Okay, it won't work. <coughs> I don't know why. Oh, it's not working. Oh. 
Okay, now it's glued. So a little bit of glue here under the first petals, petals, right? And now you have to do something like this. It will look a little bit smaller, but it will still be beautiful. And now the hard part, <laughs> use your uh, <laughs> the heating gun, heating tool, heat gun on it, but please watch your fingers. Okay, my fingers are still fine. Okay, and now this uh, here, but only a little bit. Okay, that was too much for my fingers. Uh, and let's leave it for a, a few moments. Um, what I will need now, what I will do now, I will end the composition with flowers. Firstly, I will use these beautiful flowers from, um, I don't know how to spell it, Calcutta Petals Dusty Sage, I don't know. We will use only the white ones and only a few, two or three. I hear there is a lot of you. This is great. Thanks for being with me, guys. I feel so honored to see you all here. If you are here, please sign in to the chat and say something. And just say hi. It is cool to see you.
first will go uh, here. Here on the legs, but it's still visible. And the second one will go here. Hello, Kathleen. Great to see you here. And one more here. And it is really beautiful. Okay, now the Eline uh, flowers. These are really beautiful. I will use them in the same way. Hello, hello. Great to see you here. Thank you. Well, we can put it under the lace. maybe a little bit of uh, foam tape one more time again here what's going on with our flower is it still alive yes it is You can say it has a new life. You will work you have to work with it a little bit, but it looks good right now. I wanted to meld it a bit. I'm not sure if it's the right word, but I hope you know what I mean. Can you see how it beautiful oh, it, it's hot? Be careful how beautiful it looks right now. Beautiful. Well bye Jamie. It was so cool to have you here. Okay now this beautiful flower I will use this <laughs> maybe here yeah, that's good. One more line flower. Sorry, my sweetie, but I have to catch you in smaller pieces. And a piece of cut, uh, foam tape. And two pieces of foam tape here. Just like that. Oh, this is 
this is nice. I know it is beautiful, but we need only uh, half of it. <laughs> but you can still use this half, right? No, maybe it's not that beautiful, <laughs> but it's still good. You're so funny, you guys. Would love to read what you write there on the chat, but I have to work. Oh. Yes, and I think that is a good time for our uh, chipboard piece. Just right here. That is great. Uh, where's my uh, where's my oh here you are. <laughs> yes, this is a double sided tape on tape. I'm going to use this white hand overclock hand of a clock is this the right word hand of a clock I learn English still and sometimes it's quite funny and let's glue it here The light is not so good, right? But I hope you can see anything. When I turn the light off, it will be better or worse? How do you think? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You're all so sweet and kind. Better. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now is the time for our beautiful big flower. That is a little more brown right now and a little smaller because I used heat gum. Maybe I will use my gel medium to glue it because it's it's big and I'm not sure if my glue will handle it.
still not enough. Oh no, this is good. I think I don't need more. <laughs> Oh, I love this huge flower. I have so many ideas to use it. Um, okay, stay here, please. Now something smaller. I don't want this uh, green leaves. It is gel medium. And I'll put it here. Crafting Marfa, hope I spell it right. Uh, it is a great idea for a uh, gift. You can give it to someone special. You can write on the back something, some kind words. And you can use it as a card, right? So the, um, the person that you will... Uh, it, okay, I, I, I stop. Better stop. <laughs> I wanted to say something, but couldn't find the right words, so I should stop. Okay, you can see how it looks right now. Really cool, right? Okay, where are my vintage trinkets? I added here a uh, handle of a clock, but you can add here some journaling, right? You can write here, um, thank you, or whatever you want. Just use the small letters and it will look really, really good, I think. Stone. I will uh, use this one. I think it is a little brown. A lot of glue and put it right right here can you see it it will be here Okay, now it looks perfect. I mean the flower. Uh, and 
jump rings, right? Are these jump rings? Do I remember it good? Dzięki dziewczyny, jesteście takie fajne. Okay, the lace is not as visible as I want it to be. But don't worry, it's okay. It is handmade, so it must look different every time, right? Okay, now is the time for gesso again and again with my silicone brush. I don't know where it is. Where is this? Okay, here it is. Use it on flowers. I really like that effect. But don't, uh, don't use too much. You have to know when to stop. Use it on lace also. I need to add a piece of lace here because it's not, I can't see it, so it would be better. <laughs> now it's better. Now you can see the lace, right? Use it. Use the gesso here on chipboard on the jump rings, and that's that's enough, I think. Ah, oh, dziękuję bardzo. <laughs> My mom is here. My mama is not today. That is really nice. <laughs> okay, we need to we need to leave it to dry. I see I can add a piece of uh, cotton tape here, maybe three small pieces, just like at the original project. Just three small pieces and a little of gesso on them. Uh, yeah. I think I can dry it.
Okay, my my dog is dreaming about something right now. She is running. She's running very fast, but still sleeping, right? Okay. Uh, this uh, corners corners, right? Uh, are I like them so much just because of the versatility. You can use them on your layout, on your card. No, still choose the the bad one, uh, or on your canvas. Uh, and they are always look great. Everything looks better with these corners, actually. And a little bit of gesso one more time. Just use it with your fingers, this is the best way. Maybe more glue. This is cool. Uh, okay, is this dry? No. Okay, now's the time for silk, silks, paint. We will use it with a palette knife, which I don't have here. Uh, oh, I have it. <laughs> Okay, that was funny, <laughs> even for me. <laughs> I will use it um, just to emphasize the details, right? Oh, I don't know if you if you know what I mean, but only here and here I don't want to cover the whole uh, canvas with this paint it is beautiful but it has really bright colors so bright bright uh, so I use it only You can use it with your fingers, then you can feel how great consistency uh, it has. I really like it. As you might know, I love our journaling, so these are perfect for our journaling. And the Prima stuff also work great in our journals. Okay. Maybe I will add uh, a little bit more of it later. Now the Art Anthology Velvet Dimensional Paint Wineberry. Maybe here. That is too much, so use your uh, wet wipe and one more wet wipe 
I also I always use so many wet wipes. Hello Romel. Great to see you here. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. <sighs> And in a few moments, you will see how great this paint paints works with water that I will use. Okay, so goodbye for now, my babies. <laughs> um, now uh, the art anthology sprays. I will use uh, patience uh, first, but maybe a little. Bit of vintage pink glimmer mist will be fine too. Okay. Not too much, remember, not too much, and wet fields. I really like this color. This is one of my favorite. I use it most in my every page. I can say. I think I can say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, art anthology. Patience, the pink one, really beautiful. I will use it just like that. Can you see how beautiful this color is? You can uh, you can use your white prima flowers with each and every color, and it will also look beautiful as they are great for mixed media uh, techniques. If it's too much, use wet wipe again. No problem. You can always. Uh, you can always work on it more and more and it will be cool. Um, as for timeless color, I won't use it like the patience, but I will use it with water and soft brush. That's important. The brush must be soft. Just from the bottle, a little bit of water and the paint, and use it like that. I think there's too much pink. I never thought I would say that too much pink. Oh, that's weird. But it is. Actually, it is too much. But no problem. Uh, you can use Ecoline paints in, in this way using your brush. You can use Glamour Mist like that. Um, it will also work nice and you will get the same effect. But you have to try some anthologies because uh, they are really cool. Okay, not too much. Uh, This is too much. Hello, Rita. Great to see you here. 
Thank you. I love your works too. You're a great artist, I think. Mm. Now color wash. You have to be careful with color wash, so use it only like that. color is beautiful. <clears throat> I'll dry it a little. How are you guys? I could know it. what you're writing about. Oh, there are some secrets I see. What secrets? <sighs> I would love to know. Uh, but how how are you? Are you having fun? Hope you do. Hope you enjoy the project. Uh, I will finish in a few minutes. So uh, if you have any questions, please ask. I wanted to show you how it works. These paints work with water. Uh, when you add some water on silks or on art ontology dimensional paint, it will look like a like a glimmer mist, I think. It's hard to me to explain it, but you have to try it. Just uh, add some water with your uh, brush, wet brush. Uh, sub the brush on the places when you have uh, been when you were where you were painting when with your pink azalea or wineberry or any other color and it looks uh, soft and just beautiful oh there was my nose <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Mm, now, Glamour Glaze Flirty, as I told you, very red, but beautiful. I think I need to shake it. And use it uh, on your composition. You can also make some splatters with this paint. This is just perfect paint for making such things. You know them, it looks more artistic. Artistic? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, I'm so happy you like the project. And as you can see, it is really easy. Uh, now the uh, now the ink from Angle Foam. Use it on edges. This is dry sand color. It is very beautiful and soft, so you can get the beautiful 
advantage effects. You can use some um, more dark color, if you know what I mean, uh, to do this. Then you will get grungy effects. But I like it when it's vintage, just like that. You can use it also like that. So the flowers will be look much more better. Maybe dirty, but I think this is beautiful. Uh, Art Anthology Dimensional Crystal Blizzard. I want to make some dots. Only a few dots. But it will look... Uh, more shabby, right? So vintage and shabby, this is a great combination. And that was one of my time for one of my favorite parts. I mean stamping and layering the stamps. Prima stamps are just perfect for this technique because uh, these are background stamps, right? And I really like it. Uh, somebody asks me what I'm doing with this project. I'm doing nothing. I'm, I'm keeping it with my uh, in my English word. How it is in my closet? Oh, in my closet. And they are very happy there. Sometimes I throw them away. Yes, I do. But you know, the most important thing to me is to have fun one while creating. I don't have to watch them all the time. If I know I had fun, this is really great. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but I had I have so many, you know, I have so many layouts and I have no space to store them. And I have to throw something away. Sometimes um, yes, sometimes I hang it on a wall, but mm, not often. Not often. I don't like it. I like my works, yes, but I don't like them. I don't like to see them every day <laughs> when I wake up. No, that, that's not the best thing, I think. Oh, sell it, sell, uh, sell the page with my own photos. No, that's not a good idea. I can sell that, I think. Well, never thought about it, but um, selling layouts, layouts, it's not a good idea. But I didn't told you, uh, when I'm making a page with my uh, family old photograph, I never throw it away because these layouts are very special to me. Not because of uh, my work that I put in it, but because of the photos. As you can see, I'm layering the stamps using two colors, brown and black.
you can also stamp on your flowers it will also look beautiful <laughs> Eliska, you are so funny <laughs> Mm -hmm. They are my photos I use are mostly black and white. That's right. That's true. These are the easiest to, to use, I think. Okay, is that all? Or did I forget about something? No, I think I didn't. It will look better when it will be completely dry. The paint will look better, the flower will look better, but I think it's okay. Hope you like it. Sorry, but I'm thinking if I didn't forget about anything, but I think I didn't. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, yes, I do have a blog. It is uh, chakochina.blogspot.com. I think it will be hard for you to uh, write chakochina, but maybe Carol will help me. Okay, so uh, that's all, I think. Yes, that's all. As I said, uh, this is very easy and fun project. I made it in something about hour and a half, right? I thought it will be take uh, not that long, but I had to talk. So. <laughs> okay, I had a lot of fun, and with great, it was great to see you here, guys. Bližej, uh, bližej. Look how oh no problem no oh I think it's better now uh, did I said look how beautiful this flower looks <laughs> Okay, thank you girls and boys, thanks for being with me, hope we will see uh, again, uh, thank you Carrie for help, mm, and thank you, thank you so much again, please try to do this project, this is easy, you, and you will see how good you are in mixed media techniques, okay, okay, I will show my face. I'm afraid. How can I? Not so good. Not as good at the beginning. But okay, guys, thank you. You are great. Thank you so much and bye.